Hey there YouTube, wanted to give you a quick video and show you how to cut some really tall grass. Look at this mess that we came across in this backyard. In spots this grass has to be five feet, five and a half feet. It's almost as tall as I am. And what we're using is just our Raptor zero turn mower. And want to show you how we get this grass taken care of. Here we are, we just take a little slow stroll right next to the fence. And I've been really impressed. I've had this Hustler Raptor. I have two of them and I uh, had this for about four years now. And it cuts through this grass uh, very, very well, especially for a lower cost mower. And you can see not once during this tall grass do I actually uh, have any of the grass get clumped up in the mower at all. And uh, you're going to see here in just a second the tall stuff that this goes through as it just pushes it down and moves it out of the way. I'll go ahead and let you take a look at this. Now when you're cutting big tall grass like this, I actually had to come back and use some loppers on some of this here because it was really thick, almost like a tree. But just make sure you go real slow over that and give your blades lots of time uh, to cut everything up. I was fortunate here that it wasn't all that thick, the whole backyard, and I was able to kind of move a little bit faster once I got through that thick stuff. But when you have tall grass, just don't panic. It's going to be okay. You just got to take it slow and realize you're going to have to cut it two, three times and crisscross it. Now this actually is uh, in real speed. So you can see, even through that tall stuff there, this Hustler mower uh, doesn't bog down at all. It gets through there very, very quick. It's not the smoothest ride, as you can see right here, uh, but it definitely goes through it without much of a problem. See all that grass is blowing? Uh, really a nice mower that I enjoy, although it does tend to blow it all over you. Into a big clump like that, just slow down. Here I am going back, making a second pass in the same direction just to get most of the bulk of the grass taken down. Now that most of that bulk is down, uh, you don't really have to slow down as much. It's just a matter of getting the blades over it and going in some different directions. Definitely after you make one or two passes in one direction, you're gonna wanna mix it up and then go. On this one, we ended up cutting it uh, three times. So once this direction, and then once uh, completely the other direction, 90 degrees, and then you can see here, uh, the last pass was kind of on an angle. Just to kind of clean everything up. And while he was taking care of that last pass, I was just doing the trimming. Let's take a look at how nice this looks. Let's do a quick uh, little before and after walk through here. You can see uh, mower did a great job, just a couple passes through, didn't have to rake, didn't have to blow, chopped it up really nice, no clumps, of course it helps that it's really dry, but amazing. Until next time, see ya!